Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a kitted up to do today and this is my for the challenge, my 30 by 40 DP along uh, because this is a 30 by 40 painting. It is pre-framed. Okay, so I'll just show you. Yep, yeah, it's pre-framed. So it's like a piece of hardboard. Um, we've got a key code on the back, but fortunately the key code was actually printed out as well. So I've got that all done already. Oh, it's got my initials on it, look. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do like the way it's been framed. Uh, there is no printing on the edges of the canvas. It's all been folded over. It's a shame to have lost this bit, but then you couldn't have done a lot with that bit anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is one that I got a long time ago. Um, and it is a Diamond Diary one. I got it from Amazon. Let me just measure it and show you. It is a 30 by 40. Okay, the canvas area. So... Yep, it's 36 centimetres that way. And it is uh, 27, oh, no, 26 centimetres that way. So it's a little bit bigger than your standard 25 by 35, but it is still classed as a 30 by 40. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to get on and actually do this one because uh, the box is absolutely falling apart. Um, that's my all the gems look, all my drills. And it had a different toolkit as well, which I still got it in it. But yeah, the box is all fall falling apart. It came with a nice leaflet telling you how to diamond paint and everything. So it's because I've had it for such a long time. Um, yeah, and it just tells you it's pre-framed. Um, that's code number, kit contents. And tells you who is Shazen Lahua Arts. Uh, in China there telling you all about that so and again your picture and I just thought yeah I better get this one done I say it's been sat around for a while and because it's a box it does take up a bit more room than just a canvas so I thought, yeah come on let's get on let's get this one kitted up this is why I'm doing my 30 by 40 challenge because I want to get some of my older kits done that I've been meaning to do for ages and get them out of the way because uh, you guys are doing so well sending me them all. Uh, I think, well, we're well over 30 now, um, getting up to 40 different entries. But I'll uh, crack on and get this one kitted up as well. Okay, so let me just pop that to one side over there. Oops, it's going to fall off. I do like this though, don't you just think that's funny? It's like um, a little family of owls. So we've got parents taking out the two littlest uh, for uh, something to do or they're maybe all sat watching it's like maybe they've gone to an outdoor cinema and this is uh, like the bossy one of the children that's saying will you not go to sleep we paid good money to come and see this and you will stay awake and the youngest one look because he's the smallest has just got his eye half open saying oh can just have a quick nap just have 40 winks <laughs> but it's a great picture and as i say it's framed so it will just go straight on the wall once it's done i do like the frame as well the edging on it so yeah we'll get this done and put up okay so oh, i think i'll have to put it out of the way because it's just going to fall off my desk um i've got my 60 uh, bottle case now this was on special offer from amazon um if you're quick Vipon last night did have them on offer again and I think I've got another one for £12 uh, including all the bits and pieces which I've still left in there um, so yeah it's worth if you do have the Vipon app Not affiliated, don't get any commission or anything, um, but I do like to tell you about the special offers. So, yeah, if you are quick, you may be able to get one. Or it's always worth just checking out and see what they've got uh, on special offer. Okay, I'm going to use that tray because we're going to be pouring into bottles. I don't think I'll need the um, little, little funnel there. I think I'll leave that. And then the gems. Um, I've already copied my little key code ready to go onto my bottles. It's 35 different gems and colours. Uh, we've got the little leaflet here, look, with it all on. Just tells you a little bit about them. Um, when I got this, actually, I did get the stickers and the cardboard picture for diamond painting free with this. 
So I think I paid a really, really silly price for this and got those two free as well. Um, as I said, I'm not sure whether this company is still on the go or not. I'll leave the links down below if I can find them and the unboxing of it. But I have had it a long time. Um, the little the tool kit was nice. Uh, a little bit different, all in orange. So I've got a little uh, tub of wax there, look and a little white flat bottomed boat some grip seal bags it gave us <laughs> i thought that was quite sweet it gave us some paper clips all in different colors i suppose that's um if you're not using the little grip seal bags you can just use uh you can use the paper clips to fasten the bags up so that was something different not had that before an orange pen with an orange squishy a single placer and a little four placer in orange as well. Look at that. I've not had one of those before either. So, yay, it was all that little bit different. I'd say just like this. Uh, and then it's even given you the hangers look and the screws to put on the back of the picture so it can go on the wall. So, it was a very comprehensive kit, I must admit. I was uh, quite impressed with this when I did get it. I hope they are still on the go because they uh, seem to be quite. Um, a reasonable company okay just pop all those bits back in there there's the little picture look with the little key code on it um which is what i've copied don't ask me why i know you can just cut these up and use them but for some reason i've always got to copy them i, I feel as though i need to keep the original uh, yeah and it does tell us it's a 30 by 40 there look as well so I'll just pop that in there as well five different colors Okay, we do have DMC numbers as well. Looks like we're all symbols. So let me get my little Xyron sticker maker out. And all oh, right, so I've run out of uh, sticky in my Xyron. So I need to change this over. And they're very easy to do. They're just literally these two little clips here. Look, you just grab those and just pull that out. And sadly, that will just go now into into the bin i wonder if i can take it apart and recycle it i might be able to okay that's all the like cover sheet look that's peeled off and then that's where all your sticky goes so that goes uh, in the bin and then this is a new one that i've got okay that will go in the recycling that's a cardboard box and just take this out of its bag okay Oops, just clip that into there. And then literally, just to put it back in, all you do, let me make sure I get it the right way up, is just stick that in there. Okay, and that's it's as simple as that. It just literally takes out that way and then just clips back in. So that, that's why I love these, because they're just so easy to use. Okay, so we need these through here. Ooh. I've got a little bit of a uh, bit of extra writing that we don't need there. Every little helps. So let's just take that bit off the top. Okay. Oh, where's my other scissors gone? I need my rainbow scissors. I can't get up without my rainbow scissors. Right. So. Oops. Try and keep it as straight as possible down the middle. Just pull it so I can just about see it and then just put... The other side as well. Sometimes when you get a really long uh, piece, it's easier to cut them in half. This one was already in half anyway. But uh, if you do ever get a long uh, lot of numbers, uh, so sometimes it's easier just to cut it in half so it doesn't go sort of screw with um, and you don't waste any of your sticky. So that's that done. Right, so we need to just peel this off here. All it does is basically turn anything you put through the little Xyron. Oh, that's not wanting to stick there. Let me give it a bit of a squidge down um, into a sticker. And oh, why is that not? Is that not stuck? Oh, it has. It's just uh, wanting to be awkward today. Look. So I don't know if you can see there. You can sort of see where the shape of it is. Uh, all these edges are sticky, so it goes through like a sticky runner. And then the sticky stays on the back of whatever you've put onto the runner. And the rest just comes off onto the cover sheet there. So you don't end up with stick everywhere. So 
So let's start at number one. Actually, I'll cut this in half and then we'll get these bottles numbered. If you don't cut all the way through, it just makes them uh, a little bit easier to take off um, the cover sheet. You'll see while I'm doing it. So, yeah, um, I'm on to my fourth canvas. Uh, I've done my giraffes. I've done my Scotty. Oh, I'm having my third. Um, I'm trying to think which ones I've done now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I am doing another one at the moment. So, yeah, I'm just uh, cracking on with them as best I can. Okay. I seem to be finding... Uh, Hubby's a little bit upset with himself, shall we say, at the moment. He's not uh, in the best place. So, um, I'm finding I'm sitting, watching telly with him and chatting um, and doing a lot of diamond painting at the moment. Um, he's asleep at the moment, so uh, we had a, a bit of a bad night, unfortunately. So I thought I'll just nip up and uh, kick this one up. And yeah, we can then crack on with it, or I can crack on with it, uh, sat downstairs with him as well. So it's all good. Okay. 35 colours. Yeah, I've, I've forgotten all about this one. I mean, it's been sat looking at me on the shelf. I think because it's in a box, um, I've sort of like ignored it really. <laughs> I've known it was there, but just chosen to ignore it. So I think these are going to be a little bit long to go on here, but never mind. Um, I'll just uh, put them this way on. So at least they're on, at least they're labelled. And I've always got the codes to look on anyway, the strip to look on anyway, which is probably another reason why I keep that code thing rather than throwing it away um, or rather than chopping it up. <laughs> okay, it's a shame to just put 35 into um, a 60 container, but anyway. It needs must, a lot of my other containers... Um, well, I've got a lot of 30 containers and then my in-between containers are all full at the moment. So uh, I have to get some of those paintings done as well. So that's the first lot done. Okay. And then on to the next one. Oh, why have I done that? I've missed one out. Anyway, easily done. Just uh, swap the lid over. <laughs> Oh, Liz, what are you like, honestly? Oh, this lid don't want to go on this one. It says, no, I want it to be on the other one and I want to stay on the other one. All right, get that one on there. So I hope everybody is well and doing okay and that life is treating you kindly. This doesn't seem quite as sticky, but as long as they stay on long enough uh, for me to get my painting done, that's all that matters. So, yes, yeah, so Hubby's uh, having a bit of a tough time at the minute, but we're okay. Um, we've had a little bit of good news. Um, he went for his blood tests last week and his next appointment now is not till August. So, obviously, they've not found anything um, with his uh, leukaemia in his blood for checking for his leukaemia. So, it's obviously still under control. They're not concerned about him. So that's brilliant. Um, he had got himself a little bit worked up, you know, what if it's come back? And I mean, you just can't well, live your life. What if, what if? Um, unfortunately, you've just got to get on with it sometimes. Uh, not that I would say that to him, because obviously that, you know, that's not nice. But uh, yeah, so anyway, he's doing OK from that respect. So we've just got the horrible appointment next week about his kidneys. But we're not thinking about that. I'm diamond painting. <laughs> So let us start on these drills and see what we can get put away. Oh, let me grab my little dustbin. Look, I love my little wheelie bin to put all my bits in. Yay! <laughs> okay, so where do we start? Where do we start? That's number 11. That one's number 10, so I'm guessing that number one must be at the beginning here somewhere. Oh, these are big bags. Wow, look at all those three tens. Maybe I do need the 60 bottles then after all. Okay, so we'll start at number one, which is quite a, 
um, what my mother would have called insipid <laughs> yellow. Quite a strange yellowy colour, this one. Okay, I'm suspecting this is like the moon. Oh, these are big bags, goodness me. Okay, so let's get those into there and get started with it. Come on, there's always, oh, I was going to say there's always one, but there's several stuck in the corner on this one. There you are, all out. Everybody out. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, doing okay. Uh, the weather has been absolutely appalling. Um, albeit we've got sun at the moment and it was raining when I actually sat down in my craft room to start filming. So we seem to be going from torrential rain and really heavy winds, which blew my bed table over with all the food on it. So I've had to, well, uh, there's not a lot I can do. I was just Maybe I'll put a sign for the bed saying the food is all on the floor down here. Please eat it because I don't want all these seeds growing in my floor beds. Oh, these don't want to come out of this packet. So, yeah, um, so that was a bit, well, not disastrous. I mean, it was just a nu nuisance. Uh, I've seen some little different beds. I think they're like coal tits or something. Um, they're like a very, very small bed. Well, similar size to like a blue tip, but possibly smaller. And uh, yeah, they've been going to our nest box. So we may have some little birdies nesting, which would be absolutely wonderful. Uh, we've got the two great big fat pigeons that come and eat all my fat balls. And I say great big fat and uh, they're a little bit of a nuisance. I know the birds and I put the bird food out for the birds. But pigeons, they just sit and eat and eat and eat and just never stop. We just grab one of these. And then there's none left for all the other birds. So this one is, where's my lid gone? It's uh, number three. And it's 310. I'm not going to put the symbol on. I'm not even going to attempt to draw that symbol. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they just eat and eat and eat. So they go to our neighbours, that's uh, Millie's friend and our friend as well. But uh, yeah, Millie's uh, obsessed with our friend and neighbour's garden, as you know. And uh, yeah, so they go there. And then instead of actually flying, this is how lazy they are. They don't fly from his bed table. They walk across the road to our bed table. I mean, they're very lucky. We've got a lot of cats around here. They're lucky they don't get... Um, attacked really but yeah and now they've brought the friends so for years we've only ever had two of these great big wood pigeons coming across and stealing all the food and now they've brought the friends so we've got four and i just think now this is just rude don't be bringing all your friends to eat all my fat balls they're for my other birds you know pigeons eat anything don't they i mean they're literally gosh they go anywhere and do anything um, but my other beds, some of them can't or don't eat other stuff. So, you know, how rude. Don't be coming here. And to walk as well, you know. And then they just sit all afternoon unless something disturbs them. Just eat, 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 eat. Ah, oh, dear. Naughty little things. Anyway, I mean, nobody says to me, well, they are birds and you are putting the food out for the birds. They say, you can't, you can't be selective on who eats it. You know, you've just got to let them eat it. And I'm like, yes, but I want my other birds to come. <laughs> and because they're so big as well, I mean, they really are big, plump pigeons. Um, they put the other birds off from coming. The only thing is, though, they do travel a lot. You know, they, as they're eating, they seem to flick bits off. So it all goes on the floor. So quite often the other birds will come and eat it from the floor. But again, that worries me a little bit because of all the cats that we have around here. And uh, I think I've said in the past, Thomas, our little uh, deaf and silent cat that we have that uh, lives around here, no tail and very scraggy. Um, he is exceptionally good at catching things. And uh, yeah, he's caught quite a few rats that he does seem to like to come and leave you as a present. And I uh, say thank you very much, Thomas, but the last thing I want as a present is a rat, particularly a dead rat. Uh, I know you can get some very nice coloured rats and they're very intelligent and they make really, really good pets. But I particularly don't want a wild rat that's dead and, uh, and often half sort of decomposed um, brought to me as a present. Thank you very much. Um, Yes. 
<laughs> you can take that one back away with you. So, yeah. Um, anyway, spring is coming. Um, the pigeons are getting a little bit amorous with each other as well, which is possibly why they're walking, because they're following each other along and um, the males are displaying that little bit, you know. So, oh, look at me, I'm wonderful. And I think, yeah, you're coming and uh, showing off and then just eating all my food. <laughs> Oh dear, we do have fun in this house. Uh, anyway, I hope you had, uh, if you celebrate Easter and you had a, an Easter break, any days off at work or whatever, that you had a nice time. So ours was quite quiet because there was only one day when the weather was any reasonable sort of way of going out. Um, and hubby, well, just didn't want to go out that day. And I said, well, I think it's going to be worse the next few days. And he's like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, just not really in the mood. I don't fancy going anywhere. And to be fair, um, our bank holidays do tend to be exceptionally busy. If you go to sort of garden centres or shops or anywhere, it tends to be really busy. And uh, yeah, he just didn't want to be with a lot of people. So we didn't go. Um, and then I've had our carpets cleaned that was fun yesterday oh my goodness um yeah millie was uh, very upset with herself she didn't like the noise of the machine she doesn't like the noise of the hoover but obviously this the guy that came had this massive carpet cleaning machine and uh, yeah she just wasn't happy he brought these great big like long snake thing tube things in that have the water and everything in and uh, he put it into the living room and she jumped about six foot backwards because he fed it through. So he wasn't actually carrying it. It just sort of like suddenly came into the living room on its own. Well, she just jumped out of her skin and ran off. <laughs> I said, uh, excuse me, come back here. What happened to that ferocious little Scotty that attacks uh, anything that moves on the television that she doesn't like? You know, um, now something's actually come into the living room and you're running off leaving us to it you know thought you were supposed to be guarding us and she's like Poof, you forget that i'm off <laughs> she jumped away from it wasn't she? is it gonna get you boo <laughs> cleaning the settee really and the carpet is it in your house <laughs> you're gonna get it <laughs> Oh, don't you like it? Is it cool to get you? No, you're telling us. Oh dear, she is funny. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that was fun. I had to move all the furniture out of the living room. Um, and you don't realise how much uh, rubbish and uh, tat and furniture you've got in your living room until you suddenly have to move it all out. I mean, he, he did round the main big units and the table. Um, and the settee and everything but you know everything else we had to move including Millie's toys and her little steps that she has for going up to going out the window and uh, yeah she she was really miffed that they'd gone and obviously the carpet was a little bit damp so we had to go upstairs um, and in the end because uh, she was getting upset with this hoover thing she didn't want to stay upstairs with us uh, she didn't want to be near the uh, hoover thing but she also, well, sort of wanted to stay in the house. So I just asked uh, our friend if he would just uh, take her across at his house. He said, yeah. So she went across there um, while the uh, big monster that she'd run away from was in our living room. You know, it's like, oh, thanks a lot. You know, I, th I thought you were guarding us. <laughs> and uh, then once it's all done, she comes back and she's having a really good sniff around and uh, so anyway it's all nice and clean it's all freshened up the carpet's not that old to be fair um we've only had it since hubby's had his wheelchair because we've got a harder wearing carpet um on recommendation you know because obviously with the wheelchair coming in um and going across it all the time we wanted something that wasn't going to show the muck wasn't going to show the marks and was going to be a bit more hard wearing 
um, but it does need a good clean because with the best will in the world, even you know trying to clean the wheelchair wheels before it comes into the house, there's always a little bit left over sometimes. And obviously Millie as well, I give her a dry down and uh, sometimes she has uh, little bits on her paws as well. And we thought, seeing as we're having my dad's little party here, uh, we'll just have a bit of a freshen up and a bit of a clean. So, yeah, we've had that done. Uh, he did do the three-piece suite as well for us. Because, uh, again, you know, with the best will in the world, we put sort of blankets down for Millie to sleep on and things. Um, but, you know, she does move off those blankets and, you know, what dogs like, they like to scratch everything up and then lay on top of the blanket. Uh, so, yeah, it did need a good clean. And, uh, yeah, so we're all fresh and spick and spam. Spring cleaning. Yay! I think one of the main things as well that you have to watch, particularly if you've got a lighter coloured sweet, um, is jeans. You seem to... I seem to have like a blue patch where I mainly sit. Um, that's I, I can only lighten it. it. It's the dye from my jeans that's possibly come out. The guy that was um, doing the cleaning did actually say he thinks it's uh, worse on um, leather seats, particularly like, if somebody's got a cream leather seat and somebody sits in summer and they're a bit warm and they're sat on a cream leather sweep, the dye can really come out of the jeans onto the leather. I thought, oh heck, I'd never thought about that. But we've always had pets and I just don't think uh, pets and leather sweets, well, in my opinion anyway, don't go together. <laughs> I don't want them scratching. So yeah, we've always just had a, a material sweet, which is fine. Come on, do you know, these are really sticking in these bags and I don't think it's static, I just think they don't want to come out. They may be thinking, huh, you've not done us for, it must be nearly two years old, this kit, if not more. I will put a say, link down below, but uh, yeah, I just think they're all thinking, no, we're not coming out. Why should we come out? You've left us, you've not wanted to do us, so don't be expecting us to just uh, do as we're told now. <laughs> Oh, dear me, right. Uh, Millie has got uh, a new trick now as well. Um, this, you know, well, everybody gets into routines. I mean, we've got routines on an evening. Um, when hubby comes to bed, he has uh, a drink of milk. I mean, I always have a drink of milk at that time as well. I know some people say you shouldn't. But it's just something we've always done. And uh, he takes his nighttime tablets with his glass of milk. And then he leaves about a teaspoon of it just for Millie to have as well, you know, so she's like partaking. And then um, she just has a treat, a little treat as well, you know, she joins in. Um, fat free, grain free, because she has to have grain free. She gets itchy skin, bless her. Um, so yeah, he. I give her a treat after she's had her milk and uh, the other night I forgot I was busy doing something else sorting out uh, hubby's bed and everything and she'd had her milk and she just came up to me and she went on my leg and I thought blooming heck you know she does quite often go roo 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 at me and uh, we get the arrows if we're not doing as we're told quite often but yeah this is a new one now you know she just sat next to me on the bed and she went as if to say, hang on, you've missed me. You know, where, where's my treat? Come on, let's have it. Well, I just couldn't do anything but laugh. I just I just said to hubby, she's just tapped me and as if to say, where's my treat? And he says, well, you shouldn't have been ignoring her, should you? <laughs> oh, dear, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, she's never, ever done that before. I've had nudges and when she was a puppy, she was a little devil for coming up behind you and pushing, jumping up on the back of your legs and pushing the back of your knees and nearly fought, getting you to fall over. Um, but fortunately, we've got her out of doing that because, uh, yeah, we don't want to be falling over. But, uh, yeah, she just came and gave me a tap. Oh, you little madam. You're real impatient. Come on, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me just grab a tumble dry sheet because I don't know whether it's me that's getting a bit static. Rub my tray with it as well. 
just uh, so this is a new tray so it shouldn't really be static keep that there we might need to put some uh, little tiny squares in if we need to so right we're up to number 22 now okay so yeah um thank you everybody that's joining in with the hashtag a 30 by 40 keep here along it's going really really well uh, i say i've got some people sending me the pictures on uh, via email and some people sending me them via facebook messenger and instagram messenger as well uh, i say if you do want to just put it onto instagram yourself uh, if you just put on your page post your picture and then put the hashtag at the beginning of it then it will automatically go into like the folder or the page why have i opened this one and i've not taken the bottle out yet it's because i'm thinking about something else now isn't it silly liz silly liz um yeah it will automatically put it onto that page so that everybody can see it um i am going along and collecting them as i see them now as well so that i can do like the montage and everything for everybody to see um i've been putting odd ones as we go along is that 939 yes it is so that's a big bag of 939 see if all these will go in here and uh, yes yeah, so thank you ever so much um i just want to get uh, do a quick shout out to knits for sanity uh, i think that's a fantastic name for a youtube channel uh, she is taking part in our 30 by 40 challenge and she does have a newish youtube channel she's not been going very long so um i'll put it across the screen i'll put her link down below as well if you want to go and check her out um obviously she she does knitting but she's a diamond painter as well and she's recently done a paddington burr that she's done a whip and chat on and um, a craft buddy paddington bear as well i do believe so if you want to go check out her channel share the love um, I am going to start doing shout outs a bit more regularly now for people. So, yeah, as I say, if you want to have a shout out uh, and a mention in one of my videos and uh, a link down below to your channel, then uh, yeah, just leave me a message in the comments down below and I will do that for you. I have no problem uh, as I say, sharing the love, giving a shout out to people. And uh, yeah, I do watch your channel. Um, now then, it's strange because Knits for Sanity, I know I subscribed to her when she first started. Uh, she was recommended to me by a friend, and uh, Jeanette, I believe it was. And I did go and subscribe to her channel. And when I went today to look, so I'm going to give her a shout out. And I'll do a screenshot of her page to put onto, uh, my, into my video. And uh, yeah, it said I wasn't subscribed. So that's another occasion where I know I have subscribed to somebody. And then when I go to actually look at the page, I am subscribed to their page. So, yeah, it is something worth checking. If you do think you subscribe to somebody, just as you go to watch their videos, just see if that little button down, down in this corner says subscribe still. Just make sure you are still subscribed. Because your truck's being a little bit naughty. And, uh, yeah, taking off people's... Um, are taking off people's subscriptions so don't know why it does that maybe it thinks you're not watching it enough so we'll just take you off or maybe it's to stop people getting to the goals of like a thousand or whatever you're aiming for and um, because they're not well maybe it thinks that they're just people you've got to subscribe um that aren't true subscribers as such but i was um and yeah that's the third person that i've now come across so I'm going to have to start as you put your comments down below um, and uh, I'll look at you, you know, if it says you've got so many subscribers, I always then go and have a look. Um, and I am just going to go across on everybody's and check that I am still subscribed. I'm getting quite a bee in my bonnet about it now. <laughs> it's a very naughty thing to do to unsubscribe me because then when you go and resubscribe, the person's going to think, well, flipping heck, I've been following them. I've been subscribed to them for ages. And they said they were subscribed and they're not. <laughs> and it's like, but I was. Two escaped here, look. And uh, yeah, I said I never unsubscribe from anybody. 
um so yeah oh, it made me laugh i'm sorry i can't remember the lady's name um but yeah she was saying she doesn't unsubscribe from anybody either i think it was maybe pb knitting designs that's another lady to go and check out um she's just recently reached her a thousand subscribers as well so congratulations and uh, yeah uh, i think it was her that was saying that uh, her son uh, i'm sorry if it wasn't her and i'm sorry if it was you and i've said the wrong name um goes on her channel uh goes on her youtube and subscribes to all sorts of gaming channels so she does unsubscribe from them so yeah i can quite see doing that <laughs> Because obviously when you do subscribe to an awful lot of people, then you do sometimes miss videos um, because you don't see the notifications because you have such a long string of notifications. Um, some of them do get missed. So I apologise if I do miss some videos. But if I do come across anybody's videos, I do always try and at least pop on and do a like um and watch the video if i can even if i can't watch the video or i come back to it later i will always just come and like your video so it just gives you a bit of a boost as well so youtube works in mysterious ways <laughs> okay so we are coming to the end of this kit getting it all kitted up and ready It'd be interesting to do on a canvas. I haven't done one on a board since I did my last. Actually, that was an owl as well, wasn't it? The one that lit up, the one from Craft Buddy. So, yeah, so I was definitely on a, a, an owl kick when I first started diamond painting. Because I do like owls. We have an owl um, around here somewhere. And uh, on a night you can hear it hooting. And uh, did you know that if you hear a twit to woo, that it's actually two owls, not just one, because it's one twitting and the other one's to wooing back at it. But this is what I've been told anyway, and I do tend to believe what people tell me. So <laughs> It could be complete rubbish, you never know. <laughs> no, I think it's true. It would make sense, wouldn't it, that one's, rather than one going to wit to woo, it's actually one going to wit and the other one's going to woo back at it. <laughs> I'm no good at bird impressions, can you tell? <laughs> okay, so I can get those put into my bin now. I do like my little wheelie bin. Yay! Great. Put those stickers back in there. I'm going to put those... Oops. Oh, I've got some diamonds there. Look. Get them put away somewhere. Put those into there. And it will still seal up with all those bits in the top there. Put my little static sheet in the way. And we are all kitted up and ready to go for my next 30 by 40 picture. Okay, well, that's me done for now. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to join our little family and subscribe to my channel, which I'd love you to do, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! And hopefully you'll get to see this one done as well. I say it's my next one to do. OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.